do you guys know what time of year it is right now? It is time to get out there to the jetties. Now listen up, right now is about when there should be tons of sheep's head at the jetties, but the good thing is that they haven't been in there heavy, so I'm gonna try and slide in there right when they get there, so there's not gonna be a ton of people. Check it out, we got, we got the bait bucket. Beautiful, beautiful jetties, baby. I'm feeling good about today. Man, I feel the summer coming on. I smell smell some sunscreen going on. I don't know. This is bringing back the summer vibes, man. We're not even to spring yet, but spring's gonna be good too. Wow, pretty freaking gorgeous water, man. It's looking like it's gonna be a good day. Got the sanderlings going. Got some nice looking water, not too big of waves. Got the sun coming up, nice. Let's see what happens. Let's set up shot, baby. Oh yeah. I think the first thing we're gonna go with is the good old lemon rig. And I got her right here in the side pocket. Actually rigged it up a little bit differently this time. As you can see, it's nice and snagged up right now, but let me just get that out real quick. All right, and this right here is what we call the lemon rig. The lemon rig. Basically, you tie, you tie it up to your pole right here so there's two two lengths of line and that just lets it go double the depth that lemon acts as your little bobber so you can go pretty freaking deep and you can still cast this thing the primary fish we're going to be looking for today is those sheep's head but look at these beautiful beautiful dude finally i got some good shrimp lately i've been getting some really small shrimp they were very soft and look how lively these are that's what i'm talking about boy let's go baby let's get some sheepers boys let's get some sheepers and maybe some trout too maybe a redfish maybe a black drum you never know what could be out here oh am i hung up oh i got a fish dude we got a fish we got a freaking fish i didn't know it was possible oh it's something decent sheeper sheeper dude that's what i'm talking about the targeted species i thought i was hung up we got a decent decent little sheeper i'm hoping it's a keeper sheeper but i'm Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Maybe we can get a limit today. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a nice sheeper, boy. That's a nice sheeper. What's up, brother? First fish of the day. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely a keeper right there. Beautiful. Cool thing about sheep's head, too, is they're pretty powerful little dudes. They got those tall, tall bodies this way. That gives them a lot of power. And they got them crazy teefers. And they love to eat some crustaceans. So that's why we got live shrimp. What size are we looking at here? That's a nice 19, uh, let's see. Yeah, 18 and a half, 19, nice. Check out that nice little keeper, sheeper right there. Exactly what we were going for. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so the lemon rig got us one bite, but I have another rig I want to try. Check it out. Pretty much a dropper rig, AKA, I'm just going to call it a drop shot rig with a weight at the bottom. <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's gonna work for sheepers, but we're gonna try. Come on, drop shot. We're drop shotting shrimp. We finally get him? Finally got him. Oh my god, he spit it again. That was a little sheeper, but dude, I think there's a lot of little sheepers down there. I think the drop shot is actually the key, man. I'm getting so many more bites. This is crazy. I, I figured out the secret. My relationship with the lemon rig has ended. I'm with the drop shot rig now. Oh, there's a something. There's a something. You're not getting off the hook, brother. Dang, he's a freaking fighter, dude. Dude, sheep said they're so strong. Wow. Dude, I got the tactic now. This is a big guy, too. Holy cow. That's a big guy, I think. Pretty big, pretty big. God dang, this guy is so powerful though. Dude, we've discovered the tactic. Drop shotting is the number one tactic for sheep's head. Forget, forget the lemon rig. Ooh. Come here, brother. Dang, that's a big guy. Heck yeah. Don't get in your mouth, brother. Dude, that's a nice freaking fish right there. 
don't crush my pliers man I know you got them crazy chompers there we go it's freaking awesome that's a big sheeper 20 uh, 20 just over 20 nice when I was fishing the lemon rig I wasn't sure how many sheepers there were here but now I'm pretty sure using this rig that there's a ton just got to get down a little bit deeper close to those rocks Yes, sir. A couple, a couple. Some sheep's head. There's something eerie about a fish that's got teeth like mine. <laughs> I know, man. There he is. Wow. Golly. I said that's not a sheeper, but that's definitely a sheeper. I'm not sure if it's a keeper, though. Whoa. God dang, dude. Oh, it's because that current's ripping now feels a lot bigger look at that guy he's not happy oh sliding down the rocks actually that's probably a keeper where are you going brother Yes, nice dude. That's probably a keeper. I've discovered the secret to sheep's head fishing. <laughs> Not really. I'm sure other people do this, but I haven't seen too many people try this rig and it's freaking working very well. Much better than the lemon rig at least. That's a sheeper, that's a sheeper, that's a sheeper, that's a sheeper. That's a sheeper, that's a sheeper. God dang dude. Oh, what is it? That might be, is that a, that might be a red freaking jumped out of the water dude what the hell it's a red what in the world boy what is happening dude what a day of fishing <laughs> heck yeah dude that's freaking awesome thought I was going for sheepers to catch a redfish we ain't caught it yet though get to the landing rock oh yeah boy that's a keeper for sure all right folks everyone everyone guess how long do you think that sucker is right there I actually can't tell. Should I guess? I'm gonna guess 20. Ooh, his tail's messed up, so it's kind of hard to tell. 22. I'm gonna guess 22. Dude, if you're a keeper, I'm gonna eat you, brother. Oh, it's definitely a keeper. 24. Dang, 24 and a half. Wow. Oh, going for sheepers, and we catch this little guy right here. I think we're gonna eat this sucker up too. What a freaking day, boy. All right, gentlemen, listen up. We've got sheep's head attacking our jetty so we need to get out there and defend but really check this out that's that's my best drawing of a sheep's head so I'm very bad at drawing but still let me show you how I rigged up and caught these sheep's head hey if you like this video and you like these sheep's head tips give the video a like please and look there's our lemon rig right there we start off with the fake lemon bottle which just acts as our bobber then we have four to five feet of monofilament line up to a three-way swivel and then we have our hook with another four to five feet of monofilament and then you just tie your main line right there and basically like I said it just allows you to get deeper but that's not the rig I wanted to talk about today because we only caught one fish on that rig so let me show you the little rig I was using for these drop shotting live shrimp for sheep's head so the rig was a line down to a dropper loop and on that dropper loop I had a hook boom and that's where you put your shrimp and then the line continues down here down to a little weight all right so that's our little rig right there if you need to learn how to tie a dropper loop just google it you'll find it real quick now as for the hook i'm not 100 percent sure on which hook to use but i did end up liking a longer shanked j hook with thin wire and you don't want it to be too big either because sheep said don't have big old mouths all right so now we know the rig but how do you use it to catch more fish than everyone else? Let's look at that. All right, look at this beautiful drawing and let it tell you the tale. So here I am, I'm up on the jetties and we're drop shotting for some sheep's head, all right? Here we have the jetties where we're on. Here's the water and here's some underwater big old rocks out there at the jetties. Now the thing that I was doing, which was kind of unique, was I was throwing this drop shot rig and I was kind of just letting the shrimp just rest here right on this outside rock. So I cast it out here, and then 
Once it got about right here, I closed the bale, so the rig just pendulum down, and it just laid on this rock right here. So the whole rig was basically just resting on the side of the rock, and right there is our hook with the shrimp. I'm not even going to try and draw a shrimp, but the shrimp was just resting on the outside of that rock, and that's perfect for sheep's head because they love to eat off the rock. So they got to see that, and they ate it up real quick. Now for using this tactic, you're going to require a few things. First of all, you're going to need some nicer, bigger rocks. You don't want some crazy rocks that you're just going to always get hung up on. And also, you're probably going to want a little bit shallower jetties. If you have a 40 foot drop down there, it's going to be hard to reach all the way down. In that case, you might just want to go with the lemon rig and just hover it around those crazy rocks and deeper areas. And that's basically all I was doing that was different from everyone else, but I did end up catching my limit way faster than everyone else. So that was pretty cool. Oh,